Hello and welcome to this episode of Chesuba Talks. You might know us as the podcast that shares stories of grit and hope, of change for the better and human endeavor. I have Jessica Krenga, the president of Women with Initiatives, a non-profit organization based in Montgomery County, Maryland. It is a 501c3 nonprofit that supports women and children in underserved communities in North America, the Caribbean, and West Africa. Welcome to the podcast, Jessica. Thank you so much for having me. In. Absolute pleasure. Jessica, could you please tell us in brief about yourself and the organization? Sure. So my name is Jessica Kringer and for my professional um, background, I am an accountant, um, but I do have um, my higher education in public administration. And um, it is because of that and the call, you know, to help other women. Um, I, along with other women, we establish women with initiatives. And this is to help women and children, right? Like you said, in North America, the Caribbean, and also Africa. So we have several programs going on, but I want to highlight two major ones, right? So we are 501c3. Um, registered charity, public charity in Montgomery County, um, USA, Maryland. But what we, our beneficiaries right now, they are in Liberia, um, Africa, West Africa. And the programs that, there are two pilot programs. Um, The first program is we want to empower women. Um, So what we've decided is to introduce vocational programs. Um, And one of the programs we're working on is um, pastry programs, baking, right? So that women can learn how to bake. And when they learn how to bake, they bake varieties of pastries, right? That now that they have been empowered to learn this trade, they can start a small business, so we started with um, 10 women, but now we have at least graduated about 25 women, right? And they now have this trade, right, where they can invest in their own future by starting a small business. Um, one of the ladies that we always showcase out of the 25 women is doing so extremely well where she came from a zero income. So right now she's making about um, 50, 20, you know, 50, 100 US a week. And how is she doing this? She's making like common pastries like donuts, right? She's making it every morning and she is, and she's sending it to different schools, right? So that people, students can buy the donuts, eat it for lunch, right? But she's now being empowered financially, right? So from making zero income, she is now making this amount of money. And she is happy that Women with Initiative was able to go in her community and assist her. And that makes us proud, right? Because that's what we want. We want women to be women again, right? To stand up for their household to help their husbands or if they're single mom, to be able to send their children to school, right? Without being um, looking out for handouts. We don't give handouts, right? We believe in empowering women so that they stand up for themselves, right? And they, 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 they make their life meaningful and make sure that people in the society, right, can, can, can at least learn what they've learned, what they have accomplished, right? So we teach them and we pray that, that they move it forward, they pay it forward. Um, so our, uh... our, our, our success story is there, right? We have these women giving testimonies. So we're happy to share with those who want to come and join us, you know, and give this um story and meaning. And then the second component to what we do, we have children, right, that we put on need-based scholarships. Um, These are children that um, 
their parents don't have the finances to send them to school. Single parents, war through children, you know, that don't have parents, they're orphans. So we, we go through a process and we identify them. So right now on our knee scholarship, we have 28 students and we're hoping to include to increase that to 30 so that our magic number is 30, you know, for next school year. So if you're out there and you're thinking about what to do, I know how to help any nonprofit, we encourage you to join us, right, to help these children. They need a, these are our future generation, right? So we want to invest in them. But also we want to invest in women to take charge of their own situation. Like they say, when you empower a woman, you empower an entire family. And exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yes. So that is a very sweet start that, you know, talking about baking, talking about investing in uh, people who know some skills. Yes. What about women who do not have any skills, so to say, to start off with? Do you help with that as, as well? So the first thing is we have a consultation with these women, right? We have people scouting the community and looking for women who are serious and who want to change their lives. And then we put a we put a poster up in that community. People can sign up. Women can sign up because we want to help people who want to help themselves, right? So we're not just looking for anybody to help. We're looking for those who, who want to give a second chance to improve in their lifestyle because the women we help are women who probably drop out of high school and don't have the, the, the finances to go back to school or improve their lives, right? But you got to want that. We can't want it for you, right? So when we pull out the information, those who sign up, those are the people that we interview. Right. Right. So when and they come to this- interview... When they mm-hmm. come to interview, they don't have a skill. Then we search, because now we have pastry programs. We're 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 contemplating the sewing program. We have different vocationals that we want to start. But in order to start that, you need one the funny, and you need the participants that are you know that are willing to learn, right? So those are the two key. Um, components that we consider. So we put out the notice, people sign up. So right now for sewing, we have 10 candidates that sign up. So now if we go through the interview process and see if they are really qualified to join the program, because just because you sign up doesn't mean you're qualified, right? Yeah, you need to Some, vet, vet exactly. Vet. Some people can just sign up because the thing is new and you know they want to join it. But no, we have to vet them. We have to make sure this is what they intend to do. And we want to see if there will be a good candidate that, you know, the program can sponsor. You know, people work hard for their money, right? So we're not just putting it out there to just give it to people. You have to want to earn it, right? So we go through your pro- we go through the process and we verify that you are the right candidate, and then we put you in the program. And then we don't just leave you when you graduate, right? Mm-hmm. So we try to help you to see, okay, how can we help this person? You know, now that they have learned this skill, how can they, you know, help themselves? financially. So if you learn how to bake, you know all the different pastries and you have a specialty, right? We have like a a fair to say, okay, these ladies graduated. This is the fair, the big seal. People come in a community and Mm -hmm. taste the food and sponsor them, right? So, so that you get the confidence to move on your own to say, okay, yeah, I so can. It's a little bit it's, of fun also. Yes, in the it's fun. Process. It's fun, right? So people taste what you can do and they know That's you, true. that you're good. Then they can patronize whatever business you want to get into, right? Yeah. Now for the sewing, we haven't started the sewing because we're still in the process of accumulating the sewing machines, right? So once we get at least 20 of them, then we can start the um, sewing program because we don't want to sign people up, right? And then we don't have enough sewing machines, right, to accommodate them. So that's the next program. And we're 
we're having a fundraiser. We're having a fundraiser October um, 14 in Montgomery County here so that, you know, we can solicit funds to help these women. And um, that is the second program that we want to start. Let's take a break to understand what Jazuba is. Everyone at some point ponders on how this beautiful life can be made more meaningful. Maybe you're a leader trying to enhance your employees' experience at your organization. Or you already work for the community and seek volunteers with state-of-the-art skills to strengthen your nonprofit. Whatever your situation, know that you can make a difference. Chizuba began with this very vision. A vision to facilitate every skill and every passion in the world in meeting a social need. Corporate volunteering has several benefits for both businesses and organizations. In parallel, experienced and enthusiastic volunteers join NGO workers, enabling them to serve the community more effectively. Chizuba offers everyone looking to add purpose and meaning to their lives a chance to connect or volunteer virtually with non-profit organizations from over 100 countries around the world. Visit www.chizuba.net and explore opportunities to find meaning. Chizuba, your platform to do good. And now, back with our guest. Wonderful. And how do you get the funding for this? Do you have a lot of donors or do you have somebody who's helping you or some collaborations maybe? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so for starter, we are 12 women, right, behind the scene, making things happen. And we each donate personally. So then we reach out to members, membership dues, right? So we, we, we solicit membership dues. And then we have, like, different fundraisers, Um one of the famous ones that we always do is a walk, you know, and also popcorn fundraiser, different kinds of fundraiser, just to mm-hmm. generate money for the events. Our budget is um, surprisingly low. Um, um, so within a period of six to seven months, we, we try to, you know, to raise funds to meet our budget. So that's why we ha- we're having this October program so that we can completely meet our budget for 2024. Um, so we're inviting people to come and help us. We want okay. we want members. We because we, we depend on membership dues, right? We we're soliciting grant writers. We need someone to write grants for us um, in the county, right? So once we can um, put those mechanism together to see how we can generate fun we're gonna be in a good place but now because we're just starting so we're we're seeing ourselves trying to um fundraise here and there and then coming out of pocket to do this job so there are a lot of things that can be done by volunteering as well yes so have you considered online volunteering Yes, and I am so grateful to Chizuba, right? Because um, I did put in some projects requests, and I've I've been fortunate. My 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 organization, we've been fortunate that we got two of your volunteers, right? Oh, you did. One, okay. uh, yeah. So one work on our what did she she work on our pitch? you know, our pitch, our the story. The, yeah, our pitch, like, okay, now we have all these wonderful ideas, right? Yes. How do we consolidate them so that people can hear us out in like five minutes, right? So we have one of your volunteers help us with that, right? So we have a pitch for our organization and we're so grateful to you and your, you know, and the wonderful. process you have here. Right. And then we had so another glad. one. Yeah. Yeah. So we're so we're so proud of um, her name is Aju. I think it's Aju. I forgot uh-huh. the last name. Yeah. Aju. She's she's from India. And it was great. Great communicating with her, you know, and meeting Wonderful. her. Yes. Wonderful. And then so we have an, the idea, you know, you, you try to give in, in, in the way that you are uh, able to do that. Yes. So giving comes with, uh, you know, it should not come with a criteria saying that, oh, only if this, I can go person in person, then I should be able to volunteer. That doesn't happen. So virtual cool. volunteering is a thing. 
And yes. It is a beautiful thing. It's yes. Wonderful. Yes. And then we met another young lady from um, uh-huh. Uganda, from your from your programs, and she helped us out with um, the grant the grant introductions. How you introduce okay. yourself to grantees? I mean to grantors. And she gave us in a, a wonderful story, and we are going to use that. My team and myself, we will sit and we'll try to process our first grant just because of that. (laughs) Yeah, so we we have a background and it just came from your platform and we're grateful for that. So Thank you. Yes. I will communicate that to everybody. Now, uh, tell me, Jessica, when you say uh, you are helping women, do you, Mm -hmm. and this is a question that is not really related to your nonprofit per se, but... Do you feel that women uh, need to support women uh, or do you think that everybody needs to support women? Or why is it that only women can have that advantage of being helped by a woman? You know, that's a great question because, you know, um, everyone should be able to help women, right? But there comes a time where you sit and you see things around the world, you see yourself, you know, you are blessed, but then you see other women, you know, trying to just make enemies. And it, it just, it, you know, it, you're, you're conscientized and you say, no, something is wrong. And if the world cannot fix it, why, not, why can't I start with me? Let me see what I can do. Right. So that prompted us to say, guys, let's give back. You know, 12 of us, we're blessed. We're in the U.S. And God, God has done so much for us. Why not just turn, right, and give back to other women? Let's empower other women. Mm-hmm. What about that? Let's empower other women. I know there's a joke. My um, A friend of mine, her husband said, oh, I want to help you guys, but women with initiated, you got to change the name. I'm like, no, (laughs) we cannot change the name, right? We, we, We have initiatives that we want to accomplish. We need you to come and help us accomplish those you know, initiatives. So don't think about the name, just think about the initiatives that we have, right? So, so yeah, that's why we have the name. But I think everyone should be able to help women. But if everyone is waiting, why not us women, right? Let's try to help each other. That's a great idea. If everyone is waiting, who's going to start it, right? Exactly. Somebody has to start it. Has to start. <laughs> has to start it. Wonderful. Uh-huh. And it's such a lovely thing that you chose to take time from your routine, take time from your work and decide to give back. You know, yes. There is a lot of joy in giving. There's a lot yes. of joy in sharing. And yes. only when you do it, you realize how beautiful it is. Correct. Correct. Yes. Wonderful. I'm sure it is challenging to run this. It's not very easy, but uh, you are getting by with the support of other women, of course. So what are the challenges that you are facing currently, Jessica? So right now, like I said, um, we need a grant writer. So if you're out there and you're listening to me, um, just think about so many women that could benefit from this initiative. If we had a grant writer who, you know, we can solicit a grant enough for more women, right? I feel the more women we empower, you know, the better society can be. Um, so now the project, the pilot project is in Liberia, but we need to start here in Montgomery County. But because of limited resources, that's why we haven't started here. So we need a grant writer. So if you're out there, you can write grants. Please consider us. You know, we need your help. And we also need IT professionals. You know, you see, you saw our website. For me, it's not what I want it to be, but it's just a starter, right? Mm-hmm. So for the website, I need that IT professional who will just, you know, when someone goes on the website, will display who we are, what we do, and how people can help. I need, I need the website to answer those three categories right away, you know. Within by the time you click that website, I want you to see all of that. So, you know, we need someone 
with the IT experience to do that for us. So right now we have what we have and we'll work with it. We're grateful for what we have. So we need members. We need members. So Mm -hmm. you can have annual membership, right? To just, you know, help other women. You say, oh, you know, I can find us, but I don't have the time. That's okay. We need you, right? So you, 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 you come sign up on the website, become a member and just give, you know, whatever you can every year. There's so many options, how to give and what to give. Or you say, oh, I don't have money, but I can volunteer maybe five hours a year, Mm -hmm. right? Or, you know, whatever time you have, you know, go on our website and volunteer. And like I said, again, we need a grant writer. (laughs) I want to emphasize that because there's so many, you know, grants out there. We just need someone to put it together first. Absolutely. I wish you luck with that, Jessica. (laughs) <laughs> here I am to announcing um, to everybody here, uh, mm-hmm. whoever's listening to this, if you feel that you are able to write a grant and help out Jessica with Women with Initiatives, please go ahead. Uh, her website is waiting. Uh, yes. There you can help as well. Amen. So wonderful, Jessica. It was great talking to you. So, so happy to know that you are doing so much to support women. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you and finally seeing you face to face. Uh, We've emailed each other, you know, um, so it's nice putting a face to the name. Thank you very much. I love talking to you on this podcast. All right. Thank you for the opportunity. Supporting women and children is crucial for promoting human rights, achieving sustainable development, reducing poverty fostering peace and creating a more equitable and just society. By investing in their well-being and empowerment, we can create a better future for all. And here we have Jessica, who is helping out with Women with Initiatives. Kindly go and visit her website and find out how you can help out. Thank you. Thank you.